Well, we're actually about a block up from the bluegrass stockyards just to show you how far those flames traveled. This business behind me was destroyed in that fire. Meanwhile, another business wasn't even touched. I talked to that business owner in tonight's LDX 18 Big Story at 6. Surrounded by devastation, yet somehow unscathed. Guys right across the street that you know lost everything and here we are. We're still standing, we're still in business. Johnson's landscaping materials has been in business here since the late nineties. On their property is a wooden building, mulch, and heavy equipment. All things that could have gone up in smoke. Today, owner Dean Fields walked to the grounds, breathing in a sigh of relief. Now I've got, you know, a lot of equipment, you know, I've got loaders and semis and trucks and things that are all parked on the lot, so you know, it could have been a lot worse for us. But it is a lot worse for his neighbors. The bluegrass stockyards burned to the ground, killing 49 cattle. The other buildings surrounding Johnson's landscaping materials are also destroyed, while flames skipped his building completely. We were just blessed. And again, like I said, it's a miracle to me that a wooden office building doesn't burn down when all these block and metal buildings around are gone. While the investigation continues at the Bluegrass Stockyards, today was just a normal workday for Fields. Like many others, he wonders what will be next for Lexington's historic stockyards. I'm not sure what they're going to do with the, with the stockyards yet, but it's going to affect the landscape around here a lot just because, I mean, it's been there so long. Now, the environmental response team has left the scene now. They were out here monitoring air quality, but they say it is now at a healthy level and it is safe for all these residents around here. As far as the cause, it may be a few more days before we know that. Covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, back to you.